Hey everybody, it's me, Stella Wild. A very happy new year to all of you and a big thanks from me for being a part of this channel. I so appreciate all of you and I can't wait to see how 2020 unfolds for all of us. If you've been wondering where I've been the last couple weeks, I needed some time to recover. I had a very unexpected situation happen where one of my cats, well, I have two cats. You may have seen Ariel, she comes in some of the videos. My other cat, Boogie, the boy cat, he, I think he appeared once in one video, but um, he died unexpectedly. If you wanna read the story, you can go to my Facebook page. There's a link in the description. I don't wanna talk about it cause I'll just bring down the vibe and start crying. Um, so I needed some time because it was totally unexpected. Um, and I had to just kind of regroup. So I am back and I'm excited for 2020 and what will unfold for all of us. You can still get my year ahead astrology book over on Amazon. Um, link is in the description, so check that out if that interests you. And now we're gonna get into your January 2020 monthly tarot reading. All right, and if you're not yet a member, well, a member, a subscriber to the channel hit the button and the bell so you get notified when i release new videos because i will be uploading a lot more videos in 2020 i have some some special surprises for you all okay let's get into your reading so remember these are general tarot readings for your sun moon rising and venus sign watch whichever one resonates the most for you if you have a personal concern you can book a private reading with me the link is in the description. I am offering $20 off for 2020. My uh, 20 minute and 40 minute readings. You need to use the coupon code though, 2020. Link is in the description. How it's gonna go down this month, I'm going to pull three cards from the regular tarot deck and we see what comes up. Every month it's different. Some months emphasize love, some months emphasize money, business, family, whatever, okay? And then we will pull from the Cosmic Tarot to clarify, and then I will be pulling one side card, that's PSY, side card for you. These side cards are very interesting. They go into various areas of life. So we'll see what other little surprise the universe may have in store for you in January, 2020. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you in January 2020. What is happening for you guys? Okay, let's see what we have. Virgo, we're going to take from the top here. Seven of Swords upside down. Queen of Swords upside down. Eight of Cups. Hangman upside down. And Death upside down. So clearly, we have a very strong ending that's happening here. Um, look at all of this upside down here. And then the one clear definitive right side up card is the Eight of Cups. So Virgo, you are moving on emotionally from a situation that um, has really been dragging on for a while. We have this death card here um, upside down, which usually means resistance to change. Um, and I think what's been, what it is, is you really had to have a clear discussion with yourself, a very serious get real discussion. Um, and about something that really you could not change. You cannot change it. It is, you know, an unstoppable force and you are a movable object. Okay. Like you cannot be in the way of this relentless energy that's coming at you. It's very strong. It's something that um, just is sweeping from your life. That's what I'm feeling. It's, it's a change that you've been trying to hold at bay, but the change is here. It's, and you know, this could of course manifest in a lot of different ways. This is a general reading, but the point is, is that you have been resisting letting go. Uh, but you cannot resist any longer. You've been trying to talk yourself out of the truth, the Queen of Swords upside down, possibly, you know, rationalizing of why you don't want to move on. But the truth is here. 
Seven of Swords. The truth is here. It's showing itself in the first week of January. I am filming this on January 4th. By that lunar eclipse on January 10th, the truth is going to be in your face very strongly. And the resistance and the denial can no longer exist in your world because you are meant for something different. You are meant for something better. Something new wants to come in and you need to clear the decks emotionally. And that is what you will be doing, Virgo. So let's tune in with Cosmic Tarot and see what else we have. I mean, if we look at the next cards in the deck here, we have the Eight of Swords and the Page of Wands. So there will be some news around the 8th of January that's going to free you from this place where you have been stuck. Now, this could be a place where you've been literally stuck, like a home you've been wanting to move, move on. Um... But this, this is very inspiring news. It may, like I said, be a little uh, difficult at first because there's been so much resistance around it. But ultimately, this is good. Now, this could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius delivering you the news. This can be news about a new opportunity coming in for you. I'm also hearing like um, like the 11th hour. Like you, you're like at the end thinking, how is this situation ever going to turn around? And something comes in at the 11th hour to free you and save you from a situation that is really no good for you. So that's another thing I'm feeling. Um, so really positive news. This could be a new job offer. This could be um, some sort of news about um, your business that you've been waiting to hear about. A new contract being signed. Something new is in the works for you. Um, it is going to require some action on your part though. Like once the news comes in, it's just not like, oh, my problems are solved. No, you're going to have to take some action because it's a wand card. So you're going to have to, uh, you know, we'll tune in with Cosmic next to see what else is going to happen. But, you know, we have two eights here. The number, the number eight is very significant in terms of manifestation. So, Something good wants to come in and manifest, but you have to be willing to free yourself, do some work, and actually physically move yourself, move on, take steps, move forward. And that's signified by this card as well. Okay, let's see what's going on with Cosmic Tarot now. But you're going to be freed from a situation, Virgo. So that's good. A change does need to be made, though, in the way you've been operating. So, all right, let's see. All right, let's throw these down. Whoa. Oh, my God, they flew all over the desk. Okay. We're going to take from this pile. We have the Prince of Pentacles upside down. We have the Star upside down. Still a good card. We have the moon upside down. That's that full moon. We have the six of swords upside down. And we have the prince of wands upside down. So everything's upside down for you, Virgo. Your world is being turned upside down in January. Okay. I mean, I just got to tell you. Your world is being turned upside down. But it's because, again, you need to take action to free yourself from a direction that you were going in that's no good. It's coming to a head at this full moon. A secret is revealed. Secret is revealed. There's still resistance here. The Six of Swords upside down about moving forward. You're going to doubt yourself a little bit. And you're probably going to mistrust the universe too. Whatever is being changed and rattled and reconfigured in your world, as it is for many of us at this eclipse time, you know, you're going to be a little doubting of it. But you really shouldn't be because the star card is still here. It's upside down. I'll come back to that in a second. We have the Prince of Pentacles upside down. And now we have the Prince of Wands upside down. So you may first be getting some news about um well let me just say there's there's going to be resistance to the action that you need to take i'm here to tell you don't resist 
because this is showing up upright in this other reading in this other you know the other cards that we pulled because I think you're gonna doubt whether or not you have the resources to go forward to move forward in this direction you're gonna be like well I can't leave my job or I can't move or I can't uh, start a new business I can't move forward because I don't have enough money or I won't be able to find another job but the full moon is going to reveal to you that you can no longer hold on to the status quo sooner or later if it doesn't get wrenched away from you this month it's going to get wrenched away from you very soon the time is now to take action Virgo um, depending on what your personal situation is there is something very strongly you need to take action about and showing up you're showing up here as the prince of pentacles upside down so you're this is you know earth sign energy this is your energy so your initial response as i've been saying to this may be a little immature because you're showing up here as the page so you may be like you know again digging in your heels and saying no i don't want to do this i don't want to i would suggest looking at that and asking yourself where is that resistance coming from because it's showing up in this reading the thing to keep in mind is that the star card is here even though it's upside down it's still beautiful what this is suggesting is that your healing and release is on its way whatever this situation that I'm talking about represents for you in your life Virgo good news wants to come in a good change wants to manifest you need to trust in it and trust in yourself and trust in what the universe is trying to show you because what you resist persists as we know so it's time to turn the star card around embrace what the universe is trying to show you and the direction it is trying to move you in Virgo because it is trying to fix your course write your course put you on the right path as exemplified by this page of wands yet there's some stubbornness here and resistance um and it's because I think also with this eight of cups showing up here there could be a painful element that's here for you there could be an emotional loss you need to face there could be you know leaving somebody behind leaving a way of life behind um and that's the struggle like I think you're feeling if I just hold on I won't have to face this I won't have to deal with the emotional upset that is gonna happen if I move on um change is often painful you know as I like to quote that tears for fear song that I love so much much you know nothing ever changes unless there's some pain and in a lot of cases that is very very true wisdom let me know if you know that song one of my all-time favorite songs so Virgo you have an enormous potential here this month to really and this is coming out in a lot of the readings this month really get yourself on the right track and leave something behind that really is no longer serving you all right let's pull a side card and see what else we need to know okay get yourself on the right track Virgo For some of you this has to do with a cancer individual as well with this moon card upside down um there could be a cancer individual that you really need to let go of in your life whether this is love or a friendship or even a family member that you need to kind of put you know the kibosh on in in terms of connecting with them because they they have some um they're they're holding you back they don't want you to change for whatever reason um so that's something to think about as well if that's applicable to you all right let's see from the side cards what else we need to know Virgo all right 
Let's see. What do my Virgos need to know? <laughs> this is pretty clear. Now. Now is the time to take action. Now. Like I said, you don't want that. I mean, the universe is going to do it anyway. It's better for you to be proactive. Proactive with this moving on situation. All right, let's pull from here. This is not the time to... To be dragging your heels and not moving forward and what i find fascinating is i'm filming this on the fourth and this card is the number four so that's very interesting and our 2020 year is a four as well so the other thing i would say is that you're moving away from a situation that has been unstable as well which is denoted also by this moon upside down card and all the upside down we have so many upside down cards so the the energy is unstable it's chaotic you know you can't ground it um and this can of course be a little bit of crazy making this card when it shows up the moon card upside down so with the number four and our year 2020 being a number four it's about finding stability it's about creating something stable from your life and getting down to the brass tacks so to speak with the saturn pluto conjunction that's happening in capricorn it's about making firm choices, firm commitments that you can build on this year. So anything that is, you know, has a flimsy structure or that is crazy making needs to go. And the time is now to do that. All right, let's pull a card and see what else, Virgo. We need to know for you. What do we have here? Crown chakra. So there is universal guidance there are downloads that are trying to penetrate and let you know and guide you that whatever's happening with this situation and for every virgo it's going to be a little different there is spiritual wisdom and spiritual guidance and intuitive wisdom that is you know the universe has your back on this sometimes it doesn't look like it when things outside of us seem chaotic and upsetting as it may from this you may be thinking well the universe really is making that happen it's trying to clear some stuff out trust the intuitive downloads you're getting right now they are leading you in the right direction as to what you need to do to move on now all right let's pull the next card and see spiritual strength here's your card here's your card number nine that's you virgo number nine it's all about tapping into the universe's wisdom, your intuition. That's going to lead you out of the, the wilderness of this situation. Obstacles and challenges. Yes, it may seem a little like that right now, but you can bridge that gap. You are going to make it to the other side. And this, what's interesting about the Eight of Cups as well is that there is a mountain and, and you know, the person has to, to climb over a mountain. You have to make your way forward, Virgo, um, through some, some tricky territory, but you will, you will. And we have the Five of Swords. Yes, it can feel like you're going forward in the darkness feeling a little conflicted about leaving somebody behind feeling a little defeated but again look you have a flame here you've got to follow that internal flame your internal wisdom of what you know is right for you and i would say also even though this might be challenging do not go down into the pit of despair you know this person's you know going down do not do that that's not going to to help you Eight of Swords, again, trapped in fear. This card's been, you know, this is another number five. So we've gotten several number fives. This is unstable energy. Financial and material obstacles, challenges. Yes, but the universe is trying to clear that out. A new path is opening for you. And finally, we have the number four, the Four of Wands foundations and achievements this is where you're heading virgo you are heading to a much more stable bright future perhaps possibly a new home i'm really feeling a lot of you are resisting moving 
And that's something you need to take a look at, in my opinion. Now, again, this is a general reading, but it's interesting that this, that this card came up. So another number four, right? Another number four. This is the four of wands. This is a very celebratory card. You are moving into a period of growth, Virgo. So I don't want you to take this reading as like, oh my God, this is all doom and gloom. This is horrible. No, something needs to go. Something needs to be, uh, you know, your own mindset, your own resistance needs to be let go of so that you can bring in a much desired happiness and it's on its way for you. And definitely by April, all these number fours that are coming up, by April, you will find yourself in a brand new situation emotionally and probably also financially uh, as well. So there's something connected with your home and your finances. And I, like I said, I feel, I mean, this is just... You know, I feel a lot of you, it's about the move. You need to make the move from where you are now in order to manifest greater prosperity. Now, for some of you, if you can't move, there's some situation you can't move um, for whatever reason, then what I would suggest is really do a feng shui, deep cleaning, decluttering of your physical home environment move the stuff around, move the energy around, get rid of all the stale stuff in your house that isn't you anymore. Um, you know, it's that could do so much for uh, opening up a greater path to prosperity for you because you could be holding on to a lot of emotional uh, baggage, like literal emotional baggage of stuff from people who maybe don't live with you anymore, as an example. So it could be time, it could be time to get rid of that, to clear the path, to bring in a fresher energy and more opportunities uh, for you, Virgo. So Virgo, this is a very interesting, interesting month for you guys, but the time is now, the time is now to make some changes um, and to trust the universe. Even though the outward appearance may be a little chaotic right now, Trust that whatever changes are happening are ultimately going to lead you to a very beautiful and bright future. Okay, Virgo, leave me a comment. Let me know how this uh, reading is resonating for you. And I will, I will see you again soon. I wish you all the best. Stella Wilde signing out.